Here in the German capital city of Berlin, at the annual European Congress of Rheumatology, a study was presented that looked at the predictors of outcome in early arthritis. Dr. Gosek, can you tell me why patient global assessment is important? So we know that patient global assessment reflects how patients feel about their disease in early arthritis. However, to date, we don't know if we can use patient global to take decisions of treatment for disease-modifying treatments. And so um, the question that we asked ourselves was, is patient global predictive of structural radiographic outcomes such as erosions in early arthritis after three years? And what we showed is that swollen joint counts and CRP drive the radiographic progression over three years in patients who have early arthritis, whereas patient global and fatigue um, do not seem to add to this predictive value. So that in a way, when patients really have no signs of inflammation on their joints and have a normal um, CRP, two-thirds of them still have some symptoms and have a patient global which is above one out of ten. So it's quite frequent to have symptoms when you have no objective inflammation. But in terms of predicting structural outcomes, it seems that looking or asking patients for patient global is not helpful to predict what will happen in terms of erosions. Now, Dr. Gosek, can you tell me what doctors should do with this study? So, I think that we have to be careful with conclusions. We are definitely not saying that you shouldn't ask patients how they feel. Asking patients how they feel is very important because it's the patient perspective of this disease which has very important consequences on quality of life. And if patients have a high patient global, definitely you should take some measures, which may include and not be limited to painkillers, NSAIDs, psychological support, sports, whatever can help them with their symptoms. But in terms of disease-modifying treatments, which we know really have an effect on structural progression of the disease and erosions over a few years, perhaps that if really you have no signs of inflammation, nothing at all on the objective signs, even if the patient global is not totally low, you should possibly not be changing your DMARDs, your disease-modifying drugs, just based on this patient global. That would be the take-home message.